assalamu alaikum guys welcome back you can see in the image here this guy has a subconjunctival bleed now subconjunctiva is the membrane that lines the white part of the eye now this comes this guy comes to your clinic and he says doctor suddenly i noticed that my eyes are red one eye it can be unilateral it can be bilateral but usually it is unilateral he said i have no complaint i accidentally when i saw myself in the mirror I saw that my one of my eyes and particularly one quadrant in, in that eye, not whole of it but one side is red and he's having no complaints, no pain, no nothing at all. But he's curious about his eyes, he said doctor I have come to check if it will resolve or not and is there anything to worry about or not. Before we proceed with the video, I'm going to show you a small video showing you the images of the subconjunctival bleed, how they present and then we'll proceed. So these patients can come to your clinic and they'll be worried, they'll say doctor we are having this red, red eye since one day, two day and it's not resolving but the thing is it's nothing to worry about, it's completely safe, you need to counsel them, counseling is the key. Let's first go through what is this subconjunctival hemorrhage. Now in conjunctiva like I said it lines the white part of the eye, there are various vessels. Now sometimes the vessel can rupture and this blood can accumulate subconjunctivally which means under the conjunctival layer. Now it can be due to either trauma or use of blood thinners, people suffering from uh, medical heart conditions or it can be due to uncontrolled hypertension or it can be due to heavy weight lifting or coughing, sneezing, vomiting, anything that causes sudden increase in pressure. So these are the various causes. Sometimes there will be no cause, still the patient can have this problem. Now the thing is it will resolve on its own in one to two weeks. All you need to do is counsel the patient and tell him to do a one or two weeks follow up if it doesn't resolve. And usually sometimes the patient can have complaint of itching or mild discomfort in eyes so you can prescribe artificial tears for that. But make sure the most important thing you need to see if the patient visual equity is fine. If visual equity is fine, his vision is fine, there are no active complaints or anything you need to counsel the patient and just send them home. Do let me know if you have seen any patient like this in your OPD or clinic and how did you counsel them, what medications did you prescribe them. Until my next video, take care.